Hello and welcome to this Archer Point presentation on using back boxes and attachments inside Business Central. My name is Alex Wiley. I'm a senior pre-sales consultant here at Archer Point, and I'll be leading you through this demonstration today. I've gone ahead and opened up the customer area of Business Central, and on the right, we see that we have an attachments area that we can navigate between details and attachments. Here we have three areas. We have our documents, our links, and our notes. First, we'll look at our attachments for our documents. These are documents that can be stored either inside the Business Central database, or if you've set up OneDrive to your account, they'll be stored in OneDrive. Here we can open these in OneDrive, and we can also edit the documents in OneDrive. In the links area, you can put in a link address. This could be something like a web address to a related product if you're on the item card. And this can also be an internal link to something like SharePoint. It's important to note that if you put in a link address to an area on an internal server, you want to make sure that that's a shared folder on that internal server that everyone has access to. Otherwise, if it's a private link, then users won't be able to access it. Next, we have notes. Notes are available to add and they automatically time and stamp the user. As I mentioned, you can set up your attachments so that they use OneDrive instead of your Business Central database storage. And that is managed from settings up top and my settings. And here we see cloud storage. One of the requirements to use this is that you must have opened OneDrive at least one time after assigning it. So make sure that you open up OneDrive after you decide that you want to attach that to your profile and use that to store your documents. A couple of other things to note, if you share this using the share button, then it will share this exact screen. So it will open up to the area showing the documents, links, and notes. You can also share this using the document directly. This attachments area is available for primary records. So that includes things such as customers, vendors, contacts, as well as documents, such as sales orders and purchase orders. It's not available in areas like journals. So it's, it's only the primary records that this is available on. I hope this presentation has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or reach out to Archer Point directly. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.